Sanders also responded to attacks some of his supporters have made on Warren on Twitter, like calling her a snake. Wonder if that sort of vitriol toward her has hurt the prospects of you two working together from here on. I out. talked to her. It was a very cordial discussion. I am absolutely aghast and disgusted with any kind of vitriol online. And by the way, Rachel, if you think that doesn't come in to our campaign, I'm not talking talk about the Senate incoming. And I'm talking up. about outgoing. Yeah, no, I know, and yeah. I condemn that. You know, it's ugly stuff. What we want our supporters to be doing is talking about the issues. Rachel Maddow also interviewed Senator Elizabeth Warren last night. Um, and War Warren said that um, the ugliness she saw online from Bernie Sanders supporters related to online abuse broadly in American political discourse. It's just about me. I think there's a real problem with this online bullying and sort of organized nastiness. And I'm not just talking about who said mean things. Mm. I'm talking about some really ugly stuff that went on. So that's Senator Warren. Norm Solomon, if you could respond. Yeah, this is a uh, political phenomenon that's often racist and sexist. We should condemn it. We should fight against it. Nina Turner, as co-chair of the Bernie Sanders campaign, has been subjected online and elsewhere to vicious attacks uh, that are racist, that are sexist. Let's face it, MSNBC and CNN huge and powerful cable networks have been engaged in all sorts of slander and innuendo and sometimes smears against Bernie Sanders. And for Rachel Maddow and MSNBC and other networks and media to act as though this is only coming from one direction and toward one direction is of a piece of a pattern of bias against Bernie Sanders that shouldn't be a surprise, but should outrage us. These are corporate owned entities. MSNBC is owned by Comcast, a very anti-labor, uh, anti-consumer, huge corporation. They don't want Bernie Sanders to be president. He would tax their profits. He would challenge the prerogatives of the wealthy to determine the policies of the U.S. government. And overall, I think we should note that corporate media have been on a assault against Bernie Sanders. We've gone through several phases. A year ago, he was old news. Other candidates were saying the same things. Then when he stuck with Medicare for all, which is an affirmation of the human rights of all people, then he was portrayed as an extremist or too radical, out of step. Then we were told he had no chance to win the nomination. Then after New Hampshire and especially Nevada, he was being trashed. The uh, mud was flying from corporate media to pretend that therefore progressives should stay neutral until a convention. I just don't understand that. We have Elizabeth Warren saying now that she's going to stay in the fight. Is the fight for Medicare for all? Is the fight against corporate power? If that fight is to affirm the human rights of all human beings, how can she stay neutral? This is very disturbing to me because every day goes by and Elizabeth Warren fails to endorse Bernie Sanders and go out and campaign for him is a de facto assistance to corporate power, to corporate America and Joe Biden. And I don't think we should pretend anything else.